What's going on guys, it's Jay Hill bringing you a brand new video and today Iron Banner is back. So Iron Banner has finally returned once again and this time around it is Rift for the game mode. So majority of the time it is Control and it's been Control for quite a long time and they tried out Clash one time but this time they're experimenting to see how Rift will do as the Iron Banner game mode. So in my opinion I think it's going to cater a lot toward teams obviously just because Iron Banner, or not Iron Banner, Rift is a very objective based game mode and because of that it requires a lot of teamwork and so a lot of teams are going to go in groups of six and it's going to be very hard for players that don't have teams to compete and er, and win and earn more rep so I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of teams you're going to come up against and hopefully they pair up solo players versus other solo players to make it a little bit more fair for those that don't have groups to play with so that's my opinion but here we go here's his inventory for the week so starting off with the armors we have the class item for sale this time around at rank 3 so I believe the stats on these are gonna be the same across the respective classes or characters uh, so it's intellect discipline for the bond cloak and mark so that's pretty good if you don't have these already they also buff the rep that you earn for winning and for turning in bounties just in general it, it increases the amount of rep you gain when you uh, do something in iron banner so it's really good if you don't have one of these already and then we have the chest piece this time around so this chest piece has intellect discipline it has auto rifle ammo and sniper ammo which is really good and it has arc armor so I don't know if it's going to be the same across the other classes, but this is actually really good. It has arc armor, it has sniper ammo, so that's pretty good with intellect discipline as well. So if you need one of these or want one, you can pick it up. For the guns or the weapons, we have Clovence's Duty at 280, and uh, this is the Scout Rifle. So this one has Zen Moment and Hidden Hand on it for the two perks. Actually, pretty decent perks on it. Uh, Hidden Hand is really good for a scout rifle. So is Zen Moment. This is a very slow fire rate um, scout rifle. So you don't need too much uh, stability on it. So you can put Brace Frame if you want. But because it's a slow fire rate, you don't need a lot of stability since it doesn't fire quickly. Uh, but still really good to have stability on it if you need it or small bore instead. And yeah, it looks pretty solid. If you want to pick this one up, you can, or you can try to get a better drop on, or just by playing at, and this comes in at rank 4. Uh, for the weapon at rank 5, we have the Ash Raven's Flight, which is the fusion rifle. Also comes in at 280, just like all the vendor gear. And uh, this fusion rifle looks pretty decent. Um, I'm not a big fusion rifle guy, so I don't really use fusion rifles. Um, it has a very high impact decent range and the perks are hidden hand again and hot swap actually pretty decent perks on this um, especially for a fusion rifle hidden hand is really good to acquire your target and also down the middle we have enhanced battery rifled barrel for more range and feather mag so actually decent uh, perks on both of the weapons the charge rate is the only thing so maybe if you can get um, what is that one perk the one that Accelerated Coils, I believe, is the name of the perk down the middle that in, that lowers your charge rate to make it quicker. And uh, if you get that down in the middle, that's probably a better choice. But other than that, both of these are pretty solid. If you want to just buy them outright and you don't get the drops, uh, you can do that as well. And of course, we have all the bounties and stuff and the emblems and shaders like always. So go ahead and play Iron Banner. Um... There's going to be a lot of people that play Iron Banner solo as usual and I just hope that I think the best thing they should do is try to optimize matchmaking for solo players to queue up against each other and teams to queue up against each other but again they're trying to optimize it for connection and for skill based right now but they said they're going to make it more connection based in their latest um, post that they posted up yesterday so hopefully it's going to be not too bad for uh, solo players um, I usually play with a group of people for Iron Banner majority of the time although I do like to play by myself sometimes when um, some of my friends aren't online so hopefully it's not too devastating when you play by yourself but 
yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know what you guys think about Iron Banner Rift as you guys play throughout the week. And uh, I'll show you guys my rank 5 drops at the end of the week um, once I get all my characters to rank 5 like last time. So that's about it once again. I'll catch you guys next time and peace.